Yesterday, the Federal Reserve cut its benchmark interest rate one half of a percentage point, which is the first cut since 2020. CBS's Chanel Call is looking at what that could mean for anyone wanting to buy a house or a new car. For two years now, Carl Emmerich has been hunting for a house. The market is so disgusting. Across the country, prospective home buyers have been weighed down by inflation, competition, and high lending rates. The Federal Reserve's decision to cut interest rates is expected to give the housing market a boost. It's good, but then it's bad because now people are going to be willing to pay even more for a house that's worth less. You know, the hardware floor continues to grow the home. Real estate broker Anuri Evangelista says home buying interest is surging. This home in Yonkers, New York, saw several offers in the first couple of days it was on the market. If you're quick to act on that rate drop, then you have a better chance than perhaps waiting another month or two. While the Fed's decision could complicate the housing market, financial experts say it will lead to lower interest rates on credit card balances and make buying a car more affordable. A new survey from Edmonds found 62% of car shoppers were holding off on purchasing their next vehicle because of high interest rates. And the interest rate has just been sky high. This might give some relief sooner rather than later. Many economists believe the Federal Reserve will continue to cut rates. The board meets two more times before the end of the year. Chanel calls CBS News, New York.